stupid cat to the way. <laughs> hey guys, Heretic of You here. Uh, hoping all is well, thought I would share uh, another project log, another work in progress. Um, this is for a brand uh, new client who has asked me to paint up his uh, his zombie side um, heroes, just the heroes. Uh, there's going to be about 50 miniatures in total. These are the first uh, 25 that I've finished. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with uh, most of the models. They are um, superior sculpts over the the normal, the, uh, most of the uh, cool mini stuff that I've seen. Um, but I mean, we're talking about the Kickstarter. Most of the stuff is the, in fact, all of it is the Kickstarter exclusive. There are two models from a different game. It's called uh, Scythe, Scythe, I have no idea how to pronounce that, but uh, other than that, um, I think in this set he's included some regular zombies, uh, the, um, the Abomination from Black Plague, and some of the like, special edition necromancers, so we'll get to see a lot of the, uh, the we'll get to compare um, the, what, the regular zombies that come in the box set uh, compared to the sculpts of uh, the Kickstarter exclusives. Let me now always with zombie side. There's always um, pop culture references. I don't know all of these, so I'll just go over the ones that I was able to recognize. First off, here we got uh, David Bowie from Labyrinth and. Uh, per the client's request, he wanted uh, the names on the bases so they could be easily identified. So this is Hitch, otherwise known as David Bowie. Ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll stop. Um, let me see who else. Uh, of course, we've got William Wallace. This one's a cool one. I don't know if you guys have seen this movie, but this is a uh, Merlin from Excalibur. Um, this is the John Borman one, one of my favorite movies of all time, and I, I love the way he talks about the dragon. You know, it is everywhere. It is everything. Rest in the arms of the dragon. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. They included him. Uh, anyone else I recognize um, could be wrong about this where is it where is it but we have Ash from Army of Darkness and they included evil evil Ash evil Bruce Campbell um, this one I believe is supposed to be Michelle Pfeiffer from from Lady Hawk another one of my favorite films of all time. Oh, like a dirty pleasure movie, I don't know. Uh, anybody else, anybody else? Uh, let me know if this one's right. I think this is supposed to be Vlad the Impaler from from Brian De Palma's um, Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula. Can't be 100% sure on that. Anybody else? I'm not 100% sure, but these are really fun models to paint. Uh, they'd be perfect for, and not just zombie side, but for your D and D campaigns. This, I, I really like this one here. I have no, I have no idea who that, that is, but um, cool. You know, even like little dwarf characters. Nice. You know, basic. Uh, these would be perfect for running a D&D campaign. Uh, some of my favorites, I like this guy. I have no idea who he is, but he just looks uber cool. Uh, I tried to go with most of the um, the paint schemes on the, um, on the cards. And then a real quick comparison. The, the, this is a model from Scythe. 
and you could tell it's not the detail is not as crisp as uh, let's just pick this up beside oh I like this this little this one here you can see this was actually the, the you know um, they really had you know painting the model in mind whereas the Skites models I think are meant to just be um, representations and you kind of have to put all the detail there like those feathers aren't there I had to uh, paint them in and there's just like just small things like you know I don't know if that's a, a parts gun what, what parts the the metal barrel it's just not very crisp but hopefully the client will like it anyways but uh, alright so I've got about half of these done and uh, I will mail these to the client and let me know in the comments if you can identify this anime song. First one to get it right gets a bonus point. Here we go. Oh yeah. Alright, I'll see you in the next one.